Hey guys, Bob here from Raw Strength and Muscle, and today we are going to defend body recomposition once again. Okay, I've done it before, I've spoken about it at length, but I just saw a YouTube video where someone was trashing body recomposition pretty badly, so I felt the need to defend it once again, okay? And quite honestly, I am actually the first person to admit that true textbook body recomposition doesn't exist, okay? Uh, you know, basically body recomposition means that like you maintain your weight, and for every pound of fat you lose, you build at the exact same time, exactly one pound of muscle, okay? So I weigh 170 pounds and I'm kind of flabby. And then some point in the future, I still weigh 170 pounds, but I lost five pounds of fat and built five pounds of muscle at the exact same time, okay? And that, to see it that narrowly, like literally the word for word definition, that doesn't happen. You are never going to build muscle at the same rate at which you lose fat. You know, let's say a guy is running some PED cycle, okay? Maybe he'll build, for a short amount of time, he will build like one pound of muscle a week. I mean, I don't know. And it's even then, okay, it is still a question of whether that's real muscle or if that's just some muscle fiber and some, you know, bloat from some water retention or whatever. So it's really, even on PEDs, impossible to build a lot of muscle continuously, okay? At the same time, you could easily, easily, easily lose two pounds a week for a very extended period of time, okay? Without any types of PEDs, without any fat burners, without any clen or, you know, uh, thyroid medications or anything. You could easily lose two pounds of muscle a week and do that for a continuous period of time. So like I said, there's no way that you are ever going to build the same amount of muscle as you lose, the, as the fat that you lose. However, body recomposition isn't, like such a narrow exact thing. All people basically talk about when they say body recomposition is that they mean that your body is a better composition. You have more muscle and less fat than when you started, okay? So let's say a guy is, you know, kind of smooth and he's kind of, you know, he, he doesn't have like a lot of fat, but he has so little muscle that he looks like kind of flabby and weak. And let's say he were to do like a really lean, lean bulk, okay? He didn't build any, he didn't add any fat to his body. He may even have lost a pound or two, but he built a lot of muscle underneath the fat. So he's the same person. He might have the same amount of fat on him, but considering that he's built muscle underneath the fat without adding any fat, his body composition is different. He has a lower body fat percentage and a higher percentage of muscle because he's built muscle while not adding fat, okay? Another thing would be, let's say a guy goes on a diet, okay? The guy goes on a diet, he loses however many pounds, okay? And he's built, you know, two, three, five pounds of muscle, okay? Five pounds of muscle is a huge amount. Like literally go to a store, look at a pound of meat, a pound of beef, get five of them together, and then tell me that five pounds of pure muscle is not a lot. I mean, that's enough to change anybody's physique entirely. The smaller and the less muscle you have, the more of a change five pounds of muscle will be. It will completely transform your physique, okay? So let's say he's lost some fat, and at the same time, he's built, like I said, maybe just up to five pounds of muscle. Okay. And this is very easily possible. Okay. You will look completely different because think of it like this. If you don't have a lot of muscle, you haven't been training properly, if at all, and you haven't been eating properly, if you're on any kind of a diet at all. So let's say you optimize your training, optimize your diet. You have these newbie gains, which means your body hasn't been growing at all. And you could easily, within the first year of proper training and a proper diet, build five to 10 pounds of muscle easily. I mean, that's like normal, okay? So let's say you lose a pound of fat a week. That is not a lot of fat to lose. But if you do it over the course of a year, that's like 48 pounds, okay, of fat you can lose. That is a huge, enormous amount of fat you can lose, okay? While building five to 10 pounds of muscle in that first year, using your newbie gains, jumping on a proper uh, structured workout system, dropping out, jumping on a proper diet, you could easily do that, okay? Most people don't even have that much fat to lose, okay? Let's say you lose 20 pounds. That's like less than a half of a pound of fat lost every week for a year, okay? 
and you could still build your five to 10 pounds of muscle, okay? A lot of people say, well, you can't build muscle and lose fat at the same time. Yes, you can, okay? The bottom line is fat is stored energy. Calories are energy. So you can get calories from the food you eat or calories from the fat you burn. If you eat at maintenance, okay, or even under maintenance, and you go for a run and you burn 500 calories, People would say, yes, you just burn fat and that's where you know the calories come from, the extra 500 calories you need. You don't need 500 calories a day to build muscle. So why is it you can't be like building muscle with like 60, 70, maybe 100 calories a day that you would need to build muscle? Why don't you get that from the fat too? You say you can burn 500, 700 calories worth of, you know, of calories by going for a run and it would just come from your fat, but you can't get like 50, 70, 100 calories a day from your body fat. Like, I don't understand, That's, that makes no sense. That's stupid, that, that is a stupid argument. You could easily burn your body fat and use it for fuel to build muscle because you don't need that many extra calories to build muscle, okay? So first of all, it is very easy for you to be able to build muscle okay, while burning body fat at the same time. Now, the next thing that a lot of people say about body recomposition is, oh yeah, well, that's only if, you, if you're a newbie. Listen, if you have already gotten past your newbie gains and you already have a certain amount of muscle on your body and a certain amount of strength, then you're not skinny fat. You don't need, you don't have a dad body. You just need to fucking lose the fat. You just need to go on a diet real quick, Go on a diet, lose like 10 pounds or more a month until you've lost your 10, 15, 20, 25 pounds of fat and just go on a straight diet because you have already got the muscle. You don't need to recompose your body. You just need to lose the fat, okay? I mean, the thing is, anybody who has to recompose his body because he doesn't have enough muscle is capable of recomposing his body because he doesn't have a lot of muscle, Anybody who already has so much muscle that they can't build any more muscle without cutting and bulking and using anabolics, well, they've already got enough muscle so they don't have to recompose their body, okay? It's their fault they're fat, but at least they have the muscle underneath it, so just go on a straight diet. Well, if somebody's got like 0% body fat, yeah, if somebody's skinny, skinny, not skinny fat, but skinny, skinny, obviously he's not gonna be losing any body fat while he's building muscle because he has barely any body fat to, to lose. So he also doesn't need to recompose his body. He just needs to go into a lean bulk. Gain the minimum amount of body fat while you are lean bulking, okay? Hopefully no real body fat at all, okay? While you're lean bulking, and that guy will be a completely different person as well. If he's skinny, has like 0% body fat, but also weighs like 120 pounds, if he puts on these five to 10 pounds of muscle in the first year of training, okay, without adding fat, he's going to be a completely different person. I mean, think about it like this. Bruce Lee weighed 130, 135 pounds, okay, at like negative 0% body fat. So every single pound of muscle you put on, if you're skinny, if you're really lean, is going to be immediately visible. Every single pound is gonna completely change your appearance and your strength and your health and everything, okay? So what I'm basically getting at here is if you've already got so much muscle you can't recompose your body, you don't need to recompose your body. Just lose fat. If you're skinny, have like no body fat, of course you're not gonna recompose your body because you have no body fat to lose. All you have to do is just lean bulk. And if you are somebody who has not been training properly, not been eating properly, and you have the possibility to tap into these newbie gains, go on a proper schedule, proper diet, and build the muscle over the course of a, you know several months or a year or two years, you can also cut down fat at the same time, okay? So anyway, like I said, anybody who says that body recomposition is impossible is an idiot, and anybody who says that body recomposition, like not only is it impossible because you can't build muscle and burn fat at the same time, but you can't, you know, what we're talking about here is not exactly for every pound of fat you lose every, you, know, you build a pound of muscle. What we're talking about is just, you look different at the end of this phase of your life. You look a lot leaner, a lot more definition in your muscles, and you have bigger muscles underneath the fat, okay? That's all that we're really talking about. That is clearly possible. Anyway, if you guys are interested in learning exactly how to do this, go ahead and check out Low Carb Cutting and Bulking or my Raw Strength and Muscle Workout Program. Links to both are down below. If you want me to actually help you decide whether you should cut or bulk or recompose and exactly how to set your diet up, go ahead and check out the Raw Strength and Muscle Brotherhood, rsambrotherhood.com. 
And, you know, like I said, I've got both courses in there. Plus, I actually have a community where I can answer your questions, give you forum checks. Once a week, we get on a Zoom call where you can ask me questions live. I'll go ahead and guide you through the process. Links are down below. Aside from that, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video.